Hello. Hello everyone, it's uh, just now one day, so basically tomorrow, I will start my cycling to Budapest. And I thought that maybe you will have some questions, but actually I have my own questions to myself, but to make it a bit less awkward, I'm going to have a friend with me who will represent the questions. Uh, so let me introduce you, Puri. Hi everybody. He's a really old friend of mine. I mean, he's not old, he's younger than me, but uh, our friendship is old. So I think we can get started now. Oh, wait. So, Puri, please tell me, which is your first question? <laughs> you must be in a good shape. Did you prepare for the ride physically? This is a really good question. Uh, no, actually, I'm quite in my pretty bad shape and we call it an average shape. So I haven't cycled for a while, uh, especially not long, longer distances. So it will be uh, quite a challenge, but I don't think that it will be a problem for me. Talking about challenges, what is the biggest challenge that you see now? Okay, so most people I think would see that the cycling itself is the challenge, uh, but for me creating a video every single day, it is going to be the challenge because normally I'm, I'm spending like two weeks to prepare one video, uh, which means around 20, 30 work hours. And I will have like two or three probably every day. And I'm, yeah, this is the biggest challenge. Wow. Sounds like a big challenge. I, aren't you afraid of it? Um, actually, I'm not afraid of uh, the wall challenge, but there are some parts. My next day is going to be almost the biggest challenge because I need to catch a ferry and I need to catch my accommodation in one day and ho I think it will rain so I'm afraid I'm afraid about the rain basically the rain can mess up everything talking about videos what will happen to your fans and what about subtitles yeah that's a pretty fair question so uh, normally my subtitles are also consuming around one or two hours to create and I don't really have that amount of time but Judith is working really hard on the subtitles, although uh, I don't know how is she progressing, but hopefully after a while you will have some subtitles. Have you organized your accommodation? Do you uh, have the time for it? The internet? Mm, yeah, that's, that's a pretty fair question. So I have just one accommodation for Calais and the second one uh, for Bruges. Actually, maybe uh, Perry is going to join me on the way from Calais to Bruges with a motorbike. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, but after that, I don't have any accommodation because I don't want to put this pressure on me that I need to make my way to the next stop. Because imagine that this is a rainy day. I don't really want to ride 120 kilometers that particular day. Talking about bikes, do you trust yours? <laughs> yeah. So. Actually, I haven't had a big problem with this bike so far. So I'm really proud about Fuji, how they put it together. And it's quite the stock bike. So I haven't replaced anything uh, except the brakes, of course. But I hope that it can make it to the end. But we'll see. I, I have my trust in the bike. So the journey is about 2000 kilometers. What do you think? How many punctures will you get? Uh, I, I really want to say zero, but uh, realistically, I think I could be good with five or six ish, but we'll see. I have this really weird tire, which doesn't have any, it has puncture protection, but it is a slick tire. Uh, so I don't know how it will perform during the entire trip, especially in uh, rainy conditions, but we'll see. And what is the purpose? What is the meaning that you find in this ride? Okay, so uh, for me, it was a, a bit of a dream, we can say. Uh, when I was in Crete in 2013, I, I wanted to cycle home because I had a uh, bike there as well, but I didn't have the time to do it. So when I moved to London, I thought that I want to cycle back to Hungary. And this is a dream coming true. And, and, the most important thing is that I think maybe you noticed that I haven't treated my YouTube channel well in the last half year, let's say. I didn't have the time to create anything uh, special or anything good. 
and that way I, I want to, to uh, boost my QWERTY this way that I, I have a lot of action and I can show you a lot of action so it will be the great challenge for me and this is what I'm seeking. Aren't you afraid of cycling alone? Actually I think cycling alone is, is quite fun if you like to, to cycle. If you don't then it's <laughs> it can be pretty boring. During the day I'm cycling and I'm recording so that way I don't think that it's, it's going to be that frightening. Most of your concerns can be that there are cars around. I'm actually riding on mixed, uh, sometimes in cycle roads, sometimes on normal roads, uh, but I try to avoid the busy areas. D during uh, cycling in London, I have a lot more threatening uh, environment than on the road. How about driving on the other side? Are you prepared for that? Yeah, on the other side, I don't really want to drive, but if I finally get to Europe, which will happen <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> uh, I traveled quite a lot between London and Budapest. I think I can quickly adapt to the situation now, so I don't see a problem in this. And what do you think? How many days will it take to reach the finish line? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty hard question, but from my estimations, right now it seems that it will take around 16 days, if I'm fair. So somewhere between 16 and 20 days, but I plan to arrive in uh, the first week of October. Won't you be bored during this long ride, just cycling alone? Yeah, actually, luckily I'm a pretty entertaining person myself, but uh, I, I don't get really bored if I have the task to record everything. Uh, and maybe I will start for a bit of editing in a forest or something. I really love cycling, so I don't think that I will get bored. Although I'm preparing like some audiobooks, so maybe I can listen to them. And that way I get educated and I get further uh, beyond. So that's we win. Do you have any sponsors? Except our favorite? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't have any sponsors, so maybe if this um, works out and I enjoy it, then maybe in the bright and uncertain future I will make similar projects and for those, uh, if it's good, maybe I can get some sponsors, but for this one I am sponsored by myself and it's a pretty good sponsor. <laughs> You're a great sponsor, it sounds awesome. See you in Bruges. Okay, Syrian Bruges. Cheers. Mm. And see you tomorrow when I am about to start around 4 a.m. So don't sleep much. Thank you very much for your cooperation. It was invaluable. Now, let's do it.